Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen in the ranch. Today I'm staying inside because it is hot. 96.6 outside, so I've decided to stay in the air condition and cook up a really fancy meal. Now, I've been going pheasant hunting for probably eight or ten years with a bunch of guys. Every year we go to North Dakota and uh, and hunt pheasants, and we it's a lot of uh, good times with dogs and hanging out with the guys and and uh, and some of the reward is we get to uh, bring home a few wild pheasant so today I'm gonna be cooking some fancy recipe with pheasant breast now I'm usually really crude when we cook this pheasant I usually just um, strip the breast and and fry it nothing fancy I've tried everything with these birds I've tried to pluck the whole bird and and cook them whole with the skin on. That's just way, way too much work and uh, not that tasty. Of course, I'm not a, a chef, so uh, I'm sure a, a good chef could do much better job than I did. But um, so after that experience, I mainly just uh, stripped the breast and and uh, used some really crude recipes of pan frying. So today I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a uh, a really fancy recipe that I found last year that is uh, it uses some high dollar ingredients like white wine mushrooms garlic olive oil mustard heavy cream and we're gonna mix all this stuff up and uh, throw it over some pasta so stick around I'll show you how I'm doing this Now this pheasant's already been tenderized with buckshot and uh, cleaned. Got most of the silver skin off, but the pheasant is a lot like chicken, but a lot more gamey, and it's got no fat, very little fat. So this recipe I've created by combining several other recipes that I've found over the years, and. Uh, one of the key ingredients in this is salt pork. This adds a little bit of fat and flavor to the meat. Um, so that will help with some extra fat. Brown mushrooms, uh, clove of garlic, olive oil, white wine, and then we got some Cajun mustard. Get a little kick. Heavy cream butter and we're also going to have some sides um, fresh green beans from my neighbor's garden these are the longest beans I've ever seen so we'll see how they turn out we did some horse trading with vegetables and I ended up with some of these long green beans which look delicious okay first thing we're going to do is uh, heat up some oil and butter so I'm gonna use butter like a tablespoon. A tablespoon of olive oil. Let that melt and then foam up a little bit. And we're gonna season the pheasant breast with just salt and pepper. pepper and we're going to cook this pheasant about four minutes per side doesn't take long the big pieces in first well, let me wash my hands let that cook for about three or four minutes we'll flip it over 
Now, while that pheasant's cooking, another couple minutes, I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna also gonna cut up this salt pork. I want this cut up diced small pieces. It's about eight ounces of salt pork. That's six pheasant breast that I've got in there. I had to cut off some of the, the damaged meat. When you do a pheasant hunt, sometimes you do quite a bit of damage to the bird. So really you could do it with four store-bought breast. Put uh, garlic. <clears throat> Take the pheasant out of the frying pan, let it rest. And we're going to cook up the uh, salt pork and garlic. And we're going to do some sliced mushrooms. Okay, all right, we're going to let these Mushrooms get a little soft here. Two to three minutes should do it. Get that garlic mixed up. Once those mushrooms are soft, we're gonna add some wine, just about two and a half ounces of wine. Let that flash off. Now I chose to use this really expensive vintage vantage chardonnay you can use cheap wine but i like the best okay i got the uh, mushrooms a little soft now we're going to add our white wine two ounces just let that cook off once that's cooked off a little bit, we're going to add uh, four ounces of heavy cream. All right now, most of the wine and liquid is cooked off. So I'm going to add the uh, heavy cream, four ounces. I'm going to put a little bit of Creole mustard in there. and a little bit of parsley. I don't have a uh, fresh parsley this year because I didn't learn how to grow that yet. We'll let that simmer for two or three minutes. While that's simmering, I'm gonna put some garlic, garlic bread in the oven. Get the pasta going. Once we got the heavy cream warm and mixed up two or three minutes we're going to add the uh, pheasant back in and just warm it for another three or four minutes we're going to add the pheasant i'm 
Look at that. That is done. I'm just gonna have some uh, garlic bread, a little pasta, and we're gonna have a fancy feast here. All right. Got some of the uh, yard long green beans with some garden fresh squash, a little banana pepper, 24 spices, avocado oil. And over here we got some linguine. Let that cook all up for a minute. It's about time to eat. We got our uh, prepared pheasant breast, fresh green beans and squash, sauteed, some uh, linguine, linguine over here. Once that's done, we got about two more minutes on linguine. Throw some uh, garlic bread on a plate. Dish up. And that is a wrap. That's going to do it. Oh, one more last thing here. Garlic bread. And that is going to be the fanciest pheasant I've ever had. Probably the fanciest meal I've ever cooked right there. You ready to eat, son? Yeah. Come on. Let's dig in. Thanks for watching. This is the girl that found us the birds so we can have that nice dinner. There she is, Miss Lucy. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Miss Lucy, you're so pretty. I know, I know. Thank you for the birds. Thank you for the birds.